Hi Tamitz uh, from My Life Mits. I hope you are doing well. I'm going to try this new video format, uh, trying to film uh, from my laptop. So I hope this works out. In this video, I want to journal in my traveler's notebook. I'm using the regular size traveler's notebook you see on the left hand side there. And then on the right hand side, I am using a chic sparrow cover. The leather was called buttered rum and I will I keep forgetting the updated name I think it's called Emma now um, but I keep my little ephemera bits in there um, pieces of paper and things that I want to use in my journal um, that way that way it is kind of all tucked in one little traveler's notebook or cover so I have this here I did a video of it uh, setting it up so I will leave that link down below if you are interested. So I'm just pulling out some papers and things that I feel like I could use in my journal spread, in my traveler's notebook, and just I'm just kind of flipping through. Um, so yeah, I, I tend to use uh, this traveler's notebook to document uh, past travels and uh, with the restrictions right now. We are still in lockdown here in Tokyo, Japan. It's been a little bit difficult so I did do a journal spread uh, where I kind of walked around my neighborhood and took some photos. I know that it would be very interesting to see the older photos you know as the years progress. I took photos of like the flags that are propped up right now, the Tokyo Olympic flags and things like that. So I, I encourage you to maybe if you are not able to travel at this time, maybe just kind of take a walk around the neighborhood. We, we usually, uh, it's called osampo in Japanese, but we usually just go for a walk uh, around the neighborhood when we have, uh, usually on the weekends and things, when we need to get out and get some exercise. It's, you know, you don't want to stay indoors. And um, right now, the rainy season, I think it's, it's coming and going. And um, so during the days that are nice enough, we usually go outside and take a walk. So the journal spread that I'm working on, I'm just referring to the video that's playing off to the side. So you might see me kind of looking back and forth. Um, I am taking some paper bits that I received from Eugen, uh, Paper Paya. I will leave her Instagram link down below. You probably already know of her, but she's extremely talented and she does these uh, really creative DIYs. And so she sent me a paper pack a while back and I think um, some of the paper that I used in this spread, it's, it had some Korean writing on there and um, I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's right, it might, it might be upside down, but anyways, I, I tore a piece of that and just kind of layered uh, some washi tape and layered bits of uh, paper on the back as well. I don't really think about too much or I try not to think about it too much uh, because I think uh, sometimes I overthink and then it takes me too long <laughs> to do a journal spread so I'm just grabbing a couple of uh, postage stamps and just kind of adding them to the page. I chose the orange like uh, the coral colored one there that you see me um, touching. I, I used that coral colored one because I thought it would tie in with the li little bits of red on near the bottom uh, right hand corner of the page and so sometimes I will use color as a, like a choice and I don't want the whole page spread to be red or coral or orange I just like to kind of tie in things together um, just having a couple of accent pieces in the page so yes I am journaling about um, a trip that we took a while back and this uh, brochure I picked up and there was like a little stamping station it says skywalk and we actually just drove we drove there we didn't even end up um, going on the bridge <laughs> we didn't end up walking on the bridge there was this nice little flower festival that was happening as well so we ended up walking a whole bunch of stairs to the top uh, to this flower festival we just kind of uh, looked around and we didn't even end up you know going on the the bridge there but sometimes you just kind of want to drive around and get out and have a change of scenery uh, we've been doing that a lot uh, we've been driving around and um, we may not necessarily like get out 
of the car we just kind of want to have a change of scenery and it's kind of like a road trip in a way like a mini road trip uh, we might get out to stretch our legs once in a while but uh, sometimes we've been doing that uh, during this lockdown I think it's been extend it's been extended so I think this makes it our fourth time here in Tokyo uh, for this uh, lockdown but anyways I decided to cut out the stamp that I stamped onto the brochure I didn't feel like keeping the brochure because um, we didn't like, like I said we didn't actually participate in the skywalk or we didn't actually walk on the bridge uh, but I did want to keep the stamp because I thought that was very cute uh, they have a lot of these like uh, stamping stations at uh, train stations as well as little like I suppose it depends on the 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 attraction but a lot of the attractions in Japan uh, or around here they have these little stamping stations and it's really really cute so whenever I do find a stamping station my daughter loves to help out and they like or my both of my kids actually really have fun stamping as well uh, but yeah, I ended up cutting that stamp out and just kind of stapling it to the photo there. Uh, it's hard to see, but it's my daughter. She's kind of sitting under this like flower, I don't know what you would say, like this flower arrangement. Uh, it was this little small little room where the kids could sit and take, take it's like a photo spot, I guess. And so my, uh, my not my sister, my daughter, <laughs> I took a picture of my daughter there. Here I am cutting out the photo of my kids just cutting cutting out the silhouette and using at using that as a tip-in for the journal and uh, I end up journaling probably on the back of it I think so this day it's uh, hard to tell but actually I woke up uh, I think it was around 5 30 in the morning and lately I haven't been able to sleep well at all either I wake up too early which I absolutely I, I love waking up early um, and then having the nice you know place to myself nice and quiet before the kids get up and I have to get them ready for uh, daycare and school and things um, but yeah lately I've been having a lot of problems falling asleep um, or staying asleep like it's my sleep is very uh, shallow and I feel like I, I'm waking up so many times during the night but this particular day I woke up around 5 30 in the morning and I said you know what I'm just going to get my morning started and start off on a good note and start um, journaling in my traveler's notebook and it was a really really nice start to the day I I don't even think I had breakfast yet I think I just went right into it I just felt like I needed to get some journaling out and or have like I needed some creative time and it's a little bit difficult now with the lockdown. Um, my husband also works from home and um, trying to find this quiet time for myself, it's, <laughs> it's a bit of a challenge, but I'm very, very happy that I was able to find that time for myself to kind of get creative and journal a little bit in uh, my traveler's notebook. And I think that's about it. I'm not too sure if I finish, uh, end up journaling on the other side. I. I I do end up journaling on the other side, maybe it's off camera, but I did end up finishing. Uh, oh yes, I grabbed one of the markers, the Shikiori, the Sailor Shikiori uh, markers, and I used like this deep green color, um, and I used that to journal, and I think that's pretty much it for this spread. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know lately I've been doing a lot of the Hobonichi cousin or like the journal with me and my Hobonichi cousin but if you want to see more uh, like this kind of style like the vintagey style or like the more toned, toned, toned down style <laughs> in terms of colors and things uh, please let me know and I would be more than happy to kind of get my traveler's notebook out more maybe I'll do uh, more like maybe I'll do one one more of like the neighborhood type of thing if I remember to, I will take some photos when I'm out and about. Uh, my husband does all the shopping uh, because of the lockdown, so I'm, I'm not really, uh, I mean, when we do take a walk, so I will try and remember to do that. But yeah, I'm not out as much as I, I used to be. Uh, but yes, now I'm just rambling. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this like camera angle and hopefully the uh, camera isn't too fuzzy, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.